We start with that wild spring weather, pop-up hailstorms and lightning around the Bay Area, prompting a first alert weather day. That was hail falling in Vacaville around 11 o'clock this morning. About a quarter-inch size hail pelted the downtown area for about 10 minutes, with thunder reported as well. And this video also just in of hail falling this afternoon in St. Helena, covering the front yards in a blanket of white. And check out this picture, almost an inch of hail. Looks like snow covering the baseball field mm. at St. Helena High School. Well, if you're confused by this, keep in mind, most of the Bay Area looks like this. Blue skies with some dramatic looking crowds, clouds in the background, but Chief Meteorologist Paul Hagan is tracking some of that active weather for us in some places. Yeah, it's still concentrated over the North Bay. A couple of little showers over the East Bay, but the thunderstorms have been happening over Napa County and Sonoma County, and that's where the majority of the activity is still going to be concentrated for the next couple of hours. We'll zoom in for a closer look. This is the strongest thunderstorm that we have on the map right now. Far northeastern Sonoma County, far northwestern Napa County, just about to move towards Calistoga. It's tracking right along California Highway 128. Some cloud to ground lightning strikes and likely some small hail in this red and purple shaded area and it's going to be tracking right down into the Napa Valley. We've had some thunderstorms already tracking through that same vicinity over St. Helena itself. We saw some that hail falling earlier in the afternoon that has now diminished its shower activity. It's moving into the northern end of Napa and just some heavier rain that's falling over parts of Solano County, including a heavier downpour about to move into Fairfield, maybe some small hail within that cell as well. All this activity is temporary. It's been weakening as it dies farther and farther to the southeast, so no new cloud to ground lightning strikes out of the cell that's moving towards Fairfield. Still some cloud to ground lightning possible for that cell that's moving right over the Sonoma and Napa County line. That's going to continue tracking to the southeast as well, but all this activity is going to fall apart. We got a view from one of our alert wildfire cameras. This is from Pepperwood Preserve looking at that strongest cell as it's pushing off to the southeast. That's that side of the screen. Even for the North Bay, though, these rain chances are going to diminish quickly as we head through the rest of this evening. It's a good chance, especially over Napa County for the next couple hours. We're going to be drying out, though, once the sun goes down. And the rest of the seven-day forecast is dry as well.